Deep in the endless green of the Amazon, danger comes in every shape and size, from armored reptiles lurking in black waters to packs of razor-toothed fish that can strip flesh in seconds. It's a world where every step could be your last. Today, we're counting down six of the rainforest's deadliest creatures, and what makes them so terrifying to anyone unlucky enough to cross their path. When people picture the Amazon, one of the first fears that comes to mind is the piranha, small, fast, and armed with razor-sharp teeth. Among the roughly 30 species in the Amazon basin, the red-bellied piranha stands out as the most notorious. These fish rarely grow beyond 30 centimeters, but what they lack in size, they make up for in numbers and ferocity. Piranhas have one of the strongest bite forces relative to their body size in the animal kingdom. A single bite can slice through flesh and bone cleanly, thanks to triangular teeth designed like miniature steak knives. But what really turns them into a deadly force is their tendency to swarm. Triggered by blood in the water or the desperation of the dry season, entire shoals of piranhas can go into a feeding frenzy. In those moments, they can strip the flesh off large animals, and sometimes humans. Documented attacks on people often happen when locals cross rivers or wash clothes along the banks. While fatal cases are rare, they do occur, especially involving children or weakened individuals. In 2011, a six-year-old girl tragically died after piranhas bit her legs and arms while she swam near her grandmother's boat. Despite the horror stories, piranhas are not mindless killers. Most of the time, they feed on fish, insects, and even seeds and fruit. But when food is scarce or waters recede, desperation can override caution. Their role in the ecosystem is crucial. As scavengers, they keep rivers clean by consuming carrion quickly. What truly makes the piranha fascinating is this dual nature, a creature that can spend most of its life as a cautious omnivore, yet transform into a swirling storm of teeth and blood if provoked. It's this unpredictable edge that keeps the legend alive. In the Amazon, even a fish the size of your hand can become deadly under the right conditions. Meet the bullet ant. The tiny terror whose sting has been described as the most painful in the insect world. Found in humid lowland rainforests from Nicaragua to the Amazon basin, these ants measure about 2.5 centimeters, large for an ant, yet seemingly harmless at first glance. But it's their sting that has earned them a near mythical reputation. The bullet ant's sting delivers a neurotoxic venom called ponerotoxin, which interferes with nerve signaling and triggers waves of burning, throbbing pain that can last up to 24 hours. Entomologist Justin Schmidt, creator of the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, famously rated it as the most excruciating sting known, describing it as, like walking over flaming charcoal with a three-inch nail in your heel. The pain isn't the only danger. Victims can experience temporary paralysis of limbs, profuse sweating, nausea, and even disorientation. While the sting is rarely fatal to humans, allergic reactions can lead to anaphylactic shock, and the sheer intensity of the pain can incapacitate even the toughest explorers. In some Amazonian tribes, the bullet ant plays a central role in initiation rituals. Young men must wear gloves woven with dozens of live bullet ants, enduring repeated stings for several minutes to prove their courage. Beyond its fearsome reputation, the bullet ant plays a vital ecological role, hunting other insects and even small arthropods, helping balance the rainforest's complex web of life. But for anyone who's felt its sting, that scientific perspective quickly gives way to raw, unforgettable agony. A reminder that in the Amazon, danger can come from even the smallest source. In the murky waters of the Amazon, one creature defies the rules of nature. The electric eel, despite its name, it's technically a type of knife fish, rather than a true eel. But names hardly matter when you can deliver a shock powerful enough to knock a human off their feet. Electric eels can grow over 2 meters long and weigh around 20 kilograms. Inside their long, slender bodies, specialized cells called electrocytes generate electricity. When threatened or hunting, the eel can discharge bursts of up to 600 volts, enough to stun prey or dissuade a would-be predator. For comparison, a standard electrical outlet in your house delivers around 120 volts. In the wild, the electric eel uses this shocking ability in surprisingly clever ways. Hunting in dark, muddy rivers where sight is useless, it sends out small pulses to detect nearby movement, like biological sonar. When it finds a fish or amphibian, it can unleash rapid, high-voltage shocks to paralyze its prey before swallowing it whole. For humans, encounters can be deadly, not usually by burning or direct killing but by the deadly chain reaction. 
A person wading through shallow water who gets shocked may faint, lose muscle control, or become disoriented. If this happens in deeper water, drowning becomes a real and terrifying risk. One extraordinary adaptation is the eel's ability to leap from the water to directly shock threats above the surface. Researchers testing eels in captivity saw them arch their bodies out of the water to press their chin against an object, delivering a full shock. Despite its fearsome power, the electric eel faces threats from habitat loss and overfishing. But in its natural world, few creatures dare challenge this living battery. The sightless predator patrols the Amazon's muddy currents, armed with electricity itself, a reminder that in the rainforest, danger doesn't always come with claws or fangs, sometimes it hums silently beneath the water. Lurking in the rivers and flooded forests of the Amazon is the black caiman, an apex predator and the largest member of the alligator family in South America. Growing up to six meters long and weighing nearly half a ton, the black caiman is a silent, patient hunter capable of overpowering almost any animal it encounters. Black caimans often appear motionless, sunning themselves on riverbanks, but at night, they rule the waterways. With eyes adapted for low light, they stalk prey under the cover of darkness, gliding silently through black water. Their diet includes capybaras, deer, monkeys, giant otters, and even other caimans. The real danger for humans comes at these nighttime hours. People living along the rivers sometimes fish or travel in small boats after sunset, the time when black caimans hunt most actively. Historical accounts and recent reports describe attacks where caimans have lunged from the water, capsizing canoes and dragging victims under. What makes the black caiman especially lethal isn't just size, but bite force. Its jaws can slam shut with several thousand pounds of pressure, enough to crush bones instantly. After grabbing hold, it uses a death roll, spinning its body to tear flesh or drown struggling prey. The species once teetered on the brink of extinction in the 20th century, due to demand for its valuable skin. But populations have rebounded, and in some remote areas, they're even expanding back into rivers once dominated by smaller caiman species. Despite the danger, local communities have lived alongside black caimans for generations, learning to read the river and avoid nighttime travel. Still, the occasional tragedy serves as a reminder. In the Amazon's endless maze of waterways, an ancient predator still waits, invisible until the final moment. Heavy-bodied, olive green, and marked with dark patches, the green anaconda is a living legend. Widely believed to be the heaviest snake on earth, adult females, larger than males, can exceed 6 meters in length and weigh over 200 kilograms. But it's not just size that makes the anaconda terrifying, it's the sheer power coiled beneath its scaly skin. Unlike venomous snakes that rely on fangs, the green anaconda is a constrictor. It ambushes from the water, striking with lightning speed. Once it coils around its prey, it tightens its grip every time the victim exhales, cutting off circulation and suffocating the unlucky animal. Prey items include capybaras, caimans, deer, and even jaguars, rare but documented. For humans, confirmed fatal attacks are extremely rare, but the potential is chillingly real. In the dense flooded forests, someone crossing a narrow channel could easily become a target. Stories from local communities tell of missing fishermen later found crushed and half-swallowed, though many are difficult to verify. They add to the snake's fearsome reputation. Green anacondas spend most of their lives in or near water, where their size is less of a hindrance. Their eyes and nostrils sit atop their heads, allowing them to breathe and watch for prey, while almost completely submerged. On land, they're slower, but in water, they move with eerie grace. Beyond raw muscle, the anaconda plays a critical ecological role, keeping populations of large herbivores in check, but that doesn't make it any less frightening. The idea of a serpent so powerful it can silently pull down animals many times its own weight, and potentially humans, keeps its myth alive. Whether feared as a monster, or admired as an evolutionary marvel, the green anaconda remains a symbol of the Amazon itself, ancient, mysterious, and deadly when provoked. At the very top of the Amazon's food chain stands the jaguar, South America's largest big cat and one of the most powerful predators on Earth. Stocky, muscular, and armed with a jaw stronger than any other big cat, the jaguar can crush the skull of its prey in a single bite, a hunting method unlike lions or tigers, which usually go for the throat. Weighing up to 120 kilograms, with bodies built for stealth and brute force, jaguars hunt across the rainforest, from dry ground to flooded swamps. Their diet is astonishingly varied, 
capybaras, peccaries, caimans, monkeys, turtles, and even anacondas. Few animals are safe when a jaguar decides to hunt. While attacks on humans are rare, they do happen, often when people enter remote areas where jaguars have lost their fear of humans. In the late 20th century, there were documented cases of jaguars killing loggers and gold miners in the Amazon, usually with a single crushing bite to the skull. The sheer power behind such an attack is almost unmatched in the animal world. Jaguars are also unique among big cats for their ability to thrive in water. They cross rivers effortlessly and sometimes hunt aquatic prey like fish and turtles. In flooded forests, they even stalk caimans, biting through their armored skulls to deliver a fatal blow. Despite their reputation as killers, jaguars avoid humans whenever possible. Habitat loss and poaching have pushed them into deeper parts of the rainforest, making direct encounters less common. But when they do happen, the jaguar's methodical, skull-crushing bite leaves little chance of survival. Their rosetted coat, haunting nighttime roars, and ghost-like ability to vanish into jungle shadows have made jaguars legends. They are not just the most dangerous animal in the Amazon. They're a living reminder that even the world's greatest predator can be both feared and respected. The Amazon is full of beauty, but it's also home to creatures that remind us nature doesn't play by our rules. From silent hunters in the trees to electric killers in the rivers, danger here wears many faces. If you enjoyed this dive into the jungle's deadliest, make sure to like, subscribe, and drop your thoughts below. And tell us, which Amazon predator do you fear most?